Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new season of Marvel Snap. I am Romic of a clean shaven variety and today we're gonna play with the new season pass card. Yes, that's right you guys, Phoenix Force is in and this is actually the only good deck for Phoenix Force, yes, I know. Did you ever think I was gonna bring you move Phoenix Force? Yeah, me neither, but honestly this is the only good deck I could actually think of find and actually refine because so far every deck has been basically, I don't know, I'd say the word, uh, that thing, that male genitalia turbo, it's basically been male genitalia turbo, it did nothing. The best thing you could be doing with it was like, I don't know, people shuri into Phoenix Force into, I don't know, get a dead kitty pride, I guess. I saw one of those covers and I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. But so far, I've had a lot of success with this. This has actually got me, an, with me and my boys, we've been playing it up in the lab and we got an infinity ticket. Not sadly on this account, we'll be doing that later. As now the season has begun, which means we have to climb and now it's time to show off my snapping good skills. So yeah, what's the deck? We have Human Torch, we got Iron Fist, you got Forge, you got Carnage, Ghost Spider, Multiple Man, Doctor Strange, the worst move card, Venom, the best boy, Hulk Buster is finally playable. And now I get to flex all my, like, four variants I have of it. Then we have Phoenix Force. The, the the entire deck is basically around this. We have Arnim Zola, who always does the yoinky sploinky that you guys love to see. And of course, America Chavez to boost the consistency in the deck and actually be a actually useful card on the final turn. And sometimes you just have to play a big thing and hope to God you win because you just have a giant human torch or a multiple man. But this deck, I think, guys, if you, I know you guys sometimes just copy the deck and leave. I see sometimes by the watch time, but I think you should actually sit down and watch some games of this deck as this. This deck has a lot of, I think, it has a big skill ceiling. And I think Forge could be cut. I honestly think the Doctor Strange could be kind of cope sometimes, because, you know, move cards sometimes those synergize quite well. But hey, anyway, let's go into the games and let's get snapping. Whoopsh! So we're starting off against Vlad, uh, who's a part-time Avenger. Ah, oh, well, this... This is a great show up. This is one of the worst locations you could actually get, as Central Park kind of screws up with our most important thing. Being able to put a Hulkbuster over a multiple man, or anything else for that matter. So yeah, we kind of have a huge, huge problem right here. But we could win the raft. So I'll do that. But does the opponent know that? I mean... I don't know, would you name yourself Vlad? The Daily Bugle, is this the feature location? Oh, Christ. I will do this as we win the raft. Okay, we got an Orca Whale. Iceman, is this just a disruption deck? What the hell is this? Like, Jesus Christ. And now Ghost Spider pushes the iron. Oh, wait, it doesn't. Because it wasn't technically there. What an anomaly. So I'll play Green Goblin right there and... Well, that would seal off mid. Oh god. Well, they're kind of dead, aren't they? If that's not a Green Goblin, they're just dead. Okay. I guess we kind of can lose mid. Korg? I don't know what this deck is. It feels kind of like a bot. So I'll just allow myself to be lulled into a false sense of security by playing the... Wait, if I play the Hulkbuster with the Human Torch after that, it could work. I'll snap back. Yeah, if this is a bot, then I know it can read my inputs and it knows what I'm gonna do, but hey. How bad can it be? Like, we just win one location on right, that means they have to keep playing mid. And we actually nailed it. Wow, incredible. Now, Human Torch is the strongest card, so that means we just do this and we win. That's 8 cubes, easily. Unless that's a Shang-Chi in my future, in which case I'm dead. But, I mean, Shang-Chi, it has to be Cloak mid exactly to win. Or Carnage. The Storm into something. That's 8 cubes, that's easy, easy does it. 
even despite us having the worst possible location in the first one and the bot having kind of a counter game, we still won this. I mean, if we carnaged mid, ah, maybe that could have worked. But, you know, we didn't even show off Phoenix Force. Anyway, 8 cubes, easy. We got to rank 7, 8, and Phoenix Force loves to show off. Let's go into game 2. That was a, that was a bot game. I don't even want to show that one off. That kind of feels embarrassing as I didn't really do any of the combos. At Central Park was kind of an ass. But... Well, we do have the combos we need. I mean, the point is you can feed a Human Torch immediately, and then after that you can just forge it into Hulkbuster, into Venom, into Phoenix Force, but you know... Hmm, they're snapping immediately. I mean, we should still try to get our game plan through. Like, we won't snap yet, but there is still a huge chance we can do this. Just by drawing this... Is this, uh... Am I the only one? Oh, well, that's not good. I mean, I will forge, but the point is this is now kind of... I'm thinking this is the Ebony Maw. Maybe this is the Ebony Maw. Oh, well. Dang. Yikes. Yikes on a stick, Jesus. We need to draw Phoenix Force immediately. Is this gonna be Storm or something? The Juggernaut. Well... I mean, good for Venom, but that's not really what we need. We need way more stuff. I mean, we can make a giant Venom and then Arnim Zolad over somewhere else. I mean, guess that'll be our game plan as we haven't drawn Phoenix Force to come back into the deck. Thanks to Attilan. Iron Lad, let's see how good this will be. Doctor Doom, right? Well, that's a way to lose. You know? It's like every time you have a somewhat of a compelling lead, you just kind of die on the spot, don't you? I mean, I'll Carnage into Ghost Spider. That means they did draw the Professor X. They're not going to. There goes the Arnim Zola, that means they played a 4-drop into this. I mean, all America Chavez, which... is not really the smartest- Ah oh, man, they have Magneto, I thought of that, ah. Oh. Titania with Shang. Well, that did deal with the Titania, but still. Yeah, we only lost to, like, something really large. We didn't even lose to, uh, America Chavez. We just lost to, like, something big, like, huge. Like, Magneto is huge. Okay, we'll take the 4-cube loss. We did kind of get unlucky there. Of course, the one game we have an amazing hand, Attilan. Of course, first first try. Like, it's like I nail it immediately. It's like the next game, it'll be Attilan, and we will just die on the spot. Anyway, Move Man got us, it's currently up 4 cubes, so that's pretty good. But do we even count that since that was a bot? I mean, we will, because we're cool like that. If I'll actually pass here. We didn't draw Venom or Carnage, which means we have to... Well, that's pretty good, but we need a, I need a way to kill him. That's the deal. Like, this is incredible, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this will get us a huge Human Torch with a Phoenix Force, but... There goes a little bit of a problem, if you didn't notice so far, and that is, we really rely on it. Like, we need this combo to go through. Armor is incredible, I think. Well, that will be a huge human torch. But it won't get destroyed in any way, unless by next turn it somehow does. Is this gonna be Cosmo? No, Lizard. Oh, this is Shuri! We're facing Shuri. So that's a 6 power Human Torch, and now it doubles its attack, going up to 12. We really need something like the Venom here. Well, Hulkbuster, I guess... I guess the dream is pretty much dead. The Phoenix Force won't do much this game. I mean... I mean, we can Doctor Strange it into the negative zone and attempt to Hulkbuster next turn and... Yeah, but that then requires us to do something else, and that's... 
try to draw even harder, but that's not really possible here. And in the Kamar Taj means I can't really rely on much of anything anymore. Yeah, I'll just do Doctor Strange and keep going. They're gonna Shuri, right? Like, that's all I can think of. That's their deck. God damn, he really has it. And we do have the Arnim Zola, funnily enough. Which means, if this works, we will instantly win. Is this worth the gamble? I don't think so, because we just die if it doesn't, but hey! We will have priority, I think. No, we won't. I mean, we'll move the Doctor Strange if it does, in fact, not... Oh my god! Which means we do kind of die to arrow, but otherwise we just survive. Like, look at this. That's a huge human torch. He's 109 attack. We die to arrow, though. Do I snap here? Do I have the balls to do it? We die to Shang. I can't, I can't. Taskmaster or arrow? Ah, oh, we would've won. I'm, so, I'm sad, but... Hey, that's a hundred and nine attack on Human Torch. It's gonna be even larger after this happens. So yeah, that's a giant a hundred and twelve attack Human Torch. That's a that's a thumbnail moment right there. Like guys, when this deck goes off, it goes off. But I think it's not really the best. But in my hands, everything is the best. So let's keep going. A hundred and twelve attack. Wow, a hundred and twelve attack on a single card that's not Wonged or Black Panther. Well, technically it was Wong, it was Kamar Taj, otherwise we're playing against the Pusher. He's a pencil pusher, he always snaps apparently. Even though we always snap his neck, so... Oh, oh no! Well, you know, sometimes the opponent just has everything, don't they? Like, Mindscape is a life ruining. I'll have to just Human Torch on right. And then I'll have to he Iron Fist and the Hulk Buster, like right now. I mean, there is the Raft. He can kill Monger right now, but that's not too bad. Hopefully, Los Diablos base punches up the Mindscape. We really can't win against that. Like Mindscape insta kills us, I think. And we really need one thing. We need the Venom. Is this gonna be Brood? I don't know why I'm thinking of Brood, but I'm thinking about it. It's gonna be a 12 attack Human Torch right now, which means it's gonna be even larger when Phoenix Force rises. Oh! Up against the most balanced card of 2023. God, this card is ruining the game and it's horrible. I mean, we go Spider Man to Forge. Hopefully, we get to get Venom over here. What is the opponent even attempting to do? There's no point in trying to get into the raft against Logge. Oh, it's High Evolutionary. They also do have the Jane Foster combo if they're doing this. Yikes. And now this makes the combo uh, very much a Kung Pao. Since we have spread all over the damn map. Yeah. Best thing to do is actually Phoenix Force in the in the left lane, I guess. As long as it ex escapes Lockjaw, like nothing died, but Doctor Strange in here, the Human Torch does nothing at all. Oh, well they're gambling. Jubilee into Wasp. I mean, Doctor Doom doesn't win it. Shang-Chi doesn't win it either. Yeah, what the hell was that? Why would you wa Why would you wave? Well, Longer idiots are literally have the brain of a dog. Like they're the dumbest people on the planet. Such a 
Such a dumb brain. I logged you into wave into nothing. He didn't even play Mjolnir or anything. What the hell was that? Like, oh, and people are gonna say in the comments, Oh my god, Omic, it's obvious he didn't have Mjolnir. I don't give up. You're stupid. Worst player of the year. No, no, it was the previous opponent. Come on, man. Get with the program. Well. Well, that's pretty good. We have Carnage, too. All we need to see now is our baby girl, and we got this. Knowing it's a mirror does not give me pride. Nova Roma. Nova Roma. Da, 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 da. Well, we do have... I have full combo, basically. I just won't get to do the really cool thing. I just need to get one more thing. And now he's gonna probably think, oh my god, why didn't he just do this simple thing? Because I was gonna get Tinker's Workshop, obviously. Like, dude, get with the program, what are you doing? Uh, so now we Iron Fist into Hulkbuster, granting him a total of 12. But sadly, I won't get to utilize the Bifrost. Yeah, I kind of can't. Plus, I need Phoenix Force right here. And we didn't draw multiple men once! I'm running America Chavez, like, what are the chances we don't draw it? Iron Fist into Hulk, but is he just gonna Vulture or something? This is a 12 power Human Torch. Well, it's the Mirror. He is playing the same deck we are, just a bit, you know, worse. Yeah, we got this. We gotta do it. Like, I know. But we have to. Like, we have everything. He has to, like, I don't know... What could this be? Shuri. Oh, Shuri into Phoenix Force. Yeah, but we have two Phoenix Forces, basically. We have two of them. And that's just the overkill. We Phoenix Force with the Venom. And actually, we'll Phoenix Force in the mid lane. What? Why? Oh, wait, Bifrost. Yeah, the, the smart. That was actually really smart. I'm stupid. It becomes the Human Torch. Which means it has... Just 14. The, the funniest part is I don't even have to compare myself. Yeah, but they just could have the Shang-Chi and then we die. But you can't play around everything. That's the point. The, the problem is we have the lead. I mean, if they move right and Shang left, they do win. And this just plays into the Shang. But you know what? Let it. Okay. They retreat. Yeah, we did have the bigger combo. Like, Shuri is cope. Don't run Shuri with this. It's too much setup just to die for a Killmonger. Like, Killmonger's thongs are just... Jumping just since it came out like it's they're just a lack of food the roof if you want to play anything And oh my god, did you guys ever see this like look at this rainbow stardust? I've never seen this in my life. This looks incredible I think we'll play a bit a little bit more like today is gonna be kind of a shorter video because it's just like it's basically a guide I'm showing you how to play this deck and Well, all we need now is Hulkbuster into Venom and we are Amazing like we can't lose I think I mean, will multiple man right? As we do need to move him, but where? And Doctor Strange has increased in cost, my god. That's not good. God. My kingdom for a Venom. Well, I mean, it'll work, I guess. We carnage into something, I guess. We need to Iron Fist on the next turn, as that's the entire point of Phoenix Force combos. Like, you'll see in a minute. Ooh, he runs it. See, if we went with the Human Torch version, we'd be dead. Like, that's enough to kill you. It's, like, that's how bad it is. That play, right there, was enough to send us packing. We could not win against that. So I wouldn't recommend really this deck for climbing, but I think it's a great... I think it's a sleeper deck if people still don't know what's going on. So, what will we do? Not much. We will just Human Torch here. 
I think, I guess. Actually, no. Would I just be wasting slots? I'll Iron Fist here, then. Yeah. Like, they'll just try to win the left lane, won't they? So we have the Phoenix Force mid right now. Don't be Cosmo. God, the... Bro pulled up with Nokia. What the hell was that? Yeah, we got full combo. That That's as good as it's gonna ever get. Holy. Phoenix Force combines her powers with multiple man, creating a force beyond, like, a reproach. There is legit no way we lose. Hell cow. Discarding Sarah and the Bishop. Is this... I don't know, this doesn't feel like a bot, but it doesn't feel like a great strategy either. Now you guys see, multiple man will move thanks to the Iron Fist, creating one more. And I think this is a bug, like, I don't know if anyone's gonna tell me in the comments is this a bug, but look at this. Look at the wording of multiple man. It says, add a copy to the old location. Why can't the copy move? It makes no sense, it should be able to. Like, that's what I don't get. It makes literally no sense. Yeah, like, it still makes no sense to me. It should be able to. And if it moves back here, that's two nines, that's, uh, and three, that's 21. And then if I move them here... I mean, yeah, they'll move one more. That's easy, baby. Now this will this multiple man will stay here. That's creating that's 12 power. That's 21. This is now gonna be 11, and here there's gonna be even more. And now Ghost Spider will move the present one. That's 21. And the copy stays mid, and then Doctor Strange moves one more random multiple man, doesn't matter which one. And then we have a power of, um, that's a, that's a big number, it's a big number. Like, you see, guys, there's... Yeah, cool. Anyway, here's me winning every single other lane. Huh. Good for him. It's a good thing Shang-Chi did not win any single other lane. We got four cubes out of that. My god, people love this card way too much. And imagine that, multiple men just won us a game in 2023, giving us... Almost, at, we're gonna try and get to 80. I think I'm gonna try to go to 80. We're a little bit, a little bit left to 80, and I think we can get it, like, easily. This deck, if we get to rank 80 with this... It, this, it won't be technically with this deck, since it's District X. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's, that's harsh, man. I'm trying to play a deck for videos, and I get District X. Yay, I have gotten the girl every of everyone's dreams. I've got her. Kitty Pride has made her appearance. The last card I played is Human Torch, so if I draw any move cards, which there are plenty of, it could not be it could be fine. If this is Electro, I'm gonna scream. Well Psylocke is insane if they have any strong four drop. Jesus Christ, I need to go to the dentist. Forge into the Kitty Pride. I mean, it's pretty fine, I guess. Is this gonna be something like the best 4-drop ever? Like, Jessica Jones pops up and punches me in the throat, and then I just die on the spot? Is this being for by this relay? Okay, it is. I was thinking, like, maybe this is a Galactus. Get back here, Shocker! Shocker! You can't escape me! No, no, no. Oh, poopy, man. Oh no, the tiger of white! Well, that could have gone better. If Did they open Odin too? I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Like, this would be practically one of the best hits. Th this is the anti, like... <laughs> it's the anti-cheese strat that I can't use. I mean, I can Thanos next turn. Like, if they're gonna Odin, which I'm suspecting... I mean, this, we have Thanos in hand, how bad could this be? 
If they Wong, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking puke. I can't. Like, Jubil would Jubilee run Odin? Come on! Like, there's no way he can beat this. It's a Kitty Pride at Venom. Like, it's the largest thing on the planet. Like, look at this. Needs 12 power. He needs basically a Magneto right there. Yeah, Thanos is just better. If he has Shang, suddenly I can't. Like, you can't escape, and the Asian Overlord is everywhere. Like, even when this protects since turn one, that means you did not draw a card. That means your free opening cards in hand have to be Shang-Chi himself. Okay, we have one. Good to know that we had Rogue almost there. We got two cubes, thankfully. Jesus Christ, what a... I don't know, why would he play mid? Ah, made no sense. Almost at rank 80. Almost with this deck. Like, I didn't think this brew was really great, but... Like, I made it overall. I, I just... Basically, everyone who is gonna see in the comments, yes, this is just the edited move deck. I took out 2099, put in Phoenix Force. So that's basically it, but... Oh my god. It's GATTAI with multiple, man! They're gonna fuse! I'm still gonna pass on the Human Torch. I mean, I can do both. I'm gonna pretend I'm stupid. I'm gonna be... Like, this is sick, bro. There's no way we lose. Like, who's gonna run on Murder World? Nobody. It's G Collector, and the Collector is pretty fine. He can try to face me, but he cannot defeat me because I'm Supreme Overlord Romic, and he cannot lose. But now I have to think of what else am I gonna pull out of my ass, because I have... I mean, I do have a plan, actually. I have something cooking in the head. I'll Phoenix Force right. We got Tai, the multiple man with the Hulkbuster. Our own Hulkbuster, leaving the other one. Well, there goes our plan. Spider-Ham winning another game. Arnim Zola could still... Okay. We got this. Like, we got this. We got this by the ass. We can do this. We just need to hit a 50-50. Kitty Pride, the hood into the beast. Into the fall. Oh, no. Our Arnim Zola is gonna get eaten. Oh no. Well, if I'm gonna put it anywhere, might as well... They're gonna play it for sure, like, there's no way we dodge it, but we need to... ...have a little bit of anticipation... ...as to where we could go. If I put Ghost Spider there, that gives me free power against the Collector, which means I really should have played it there instead, so I can pile on in mid. The fact they haven't snapped yet, though. Like, oh my god, the, the Spider Ham showing the opponent what the card they hit is. It's so, it's overpowered beyond belief. I, you guys you know I have the card and I still think this thing should get deleted. Like, the fact it should just hit the card and not tell you what's happening, because that is beyond busted. There's no way in the world. And now we're gonna lose, because they decided to not play it. Why not? Why would you not play it? Why? It's like, it's you have it. I mean, we have to retreat. Like, we'll just retreat now. There's no way the opponent's retreating, but why? Why would you... It's... You know the deck runs... Maybe he doesn't. I don't know, man. Like, it'll be a 50-50 anyway. But you know what? I can't gamble. And thank you, Arnim Zola. I, I know you would have won me the game if you won the 50-50. I somehow think you wouldn't. Alright, let's play one more. I'm just... I'm tired, guys. It's late. And I'm trying to go... Something tells me this is a bot just from how fast we entered the screen. So I'll just do my due diligence and try to win. I mean, his name is Loki. Did you name yourself Loki? You tell me. What did you name yourself? Tell me in the comments right now. Or It's the NPC card of all time. Nobody plays this. I don't care what you say. If you're like... If you're like, I'm Electra's number one fan. Good for you. 
it's still bad. Like, I don't get... <laughs> anyway, we won 8 cubes. Yeah, good for me. I think we got to rank 80 at the end, did we? I hope we did, because oof. We farmed cubes like nobody else. And now every content creator would say, Look how many cubes I won against this against people like with this deck. Yeah, guys, I'm one off. Fine. You know what? I'll forgive it. We'll get to 83 tomorrow. Or in every other video. I don't care. Anyway, we completed some quests. Let's go back to Decade and let's talk about the pros and cons of, well, this amazing moving strategy. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Human Torch is not terrible. And I also, in other news, I cannot believe it. Multiple man has found a spot where he's playable, I know. It's it's literally, I'm lying, how could this be done? Romic, you have done the impossible. This deck is actually fire. You have lost only two games, and one was because basically you got hard countered, and this lost the second one because you got hard countered again, and the opponent was an idiot when you maybe could have had a shot at 50-50 of winning it. So yeah, what are the cons of this deck? I think I have to say the biggest one immediately. So you know this card? I'll just, I'll just type it in kill and this, this, this it kills, it, you lose, you cannot beat this card. If you're running the Human Torch version, and I mean, if you're running, you, you basically have two decks in this one. You're running either the Multiple Man variant in the current game, or you're running the Human Torch variant, you cannot make them coexist. The only thing you can do basically to guarantee yourself a good proposition is Human Torching and Multiple Man in the same location, then punching them with Carnage and Venom and killing them, thus creating a Phoenix Force that is always good. But then, Phoenix Force just can fold to a Killmonger. Yes, guys, if you did not know, Phoenix Force becomes the Human Torch, because they merge, and that means Killmonger kills the Human Torch again. He can have a 50 billion attack and he still dies. So yeah, I think maybe sprinting in for the multiple man is a bit better, but the human torch has an infinitely larger ceiling. We beat a we beat a high evolutionary lockjaw deck with this for for Christ's sakes. Like imagine that. You beat a high evolutionary lockjaw deck who has like the biggest ceiling ever, like one of the highest ceilings ever in a deck that's not like null negative that just like goes into a billion attack. But also you have a lot of stuff to just like, do the old yoinky spoinky, like, Arnim Zola is just cracked, like, people don't expect this card, and I'm, and they're gonna say, you know, people is gonna say, well, we can put Arnim Zola to every deck, we've seen it a billion times before, and you'll see it a billion times more, this thing wins you cubes, like, this is the thing, this is a thing that gains you, like, plus eight, because just people don't expect it, it's so good. Because you just, it's a card you don't see regular. Like, people got used to Doctor Doom, you got used to Shang-Chi, but you don't get used to Arnim Zola, because it's just, unless you're me, because then I'm just like, Oh, I died to Arnim Zola, I probably should do something different. And then you just win. And of the other cards, I think, Forge, you could toss him out of the deck and put in basically, I don't know, Jeff could be a great <laughs> inclusion at this point. I think everything could be just better than Forge. I think this is probably the worst card in the game. one Or one of the worst. I'm just basically playing him to get boosters on it. And I don't know, like, outside of Forge, I played him in the last version of the deck, but... Of the other move cards, I don't think any single card fits. Like, Dagger is terrible. Craven sucks. Cloak gives so much agility to the opponent. Like, there's just not a lot of stuff you can even run in the two-drop spot. Let alone free. Like, look, Polaris is a good card, but she's not good in this deck at all. She does nothing for it. We have Kingpin, who basically kills you. Rhino, who just removes abilities. Juggernaut, who's actually good on turn 6, but you have better stuff to be doing on turn 6. Like playing Doctor Strange and Spider-Girl. And then we have more stuff, like Miles. I, Miles. I, maybe, hey, maybe you can run Miles. Miles is not that bad. And if someone says you can run him, I'll run towards you. I'm coming after you. So yeah, for now, stick with the good old Forge. Forge is terrible, but he's your terrible boy. And... It's like everyone says, Forge is just the worst version of Bost, but sadly for us, our card is already at free attack. So yeah, you know guys, this deck is maybe not the best I've ever created, or it's maybe not even the most deck that will pop off and get you to infinite and people love to spoil and say, Oh, Romic, I got to infinite with this deck. Like, good job for you, man. I'm glad you got to the infinite with your Kitty Pride Shuri or your Nebula Sunspot Turbo. Like, good job, man. Anyway, we're gonna play some Phoenix Force. We're gonna play some Move. And yeah, that was the video for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That was me removing a one Phoenix Force deck from the list. And we will go and get some more later on. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I was Ronic from Snap Mini, your gracious, clean-shaven host, and I will see you in the Snap Mania.